300 years ago. They roared, they rumbled, they were unbound. Millions created their own thunder. As they moved, they molded the very earth they tread. A single bull might weigh a ton and charge faster than a steam engine, with a head that seemed equally heavy and just as hard. They kept company with grizzly bears and wolves. They sustained the Native Americans, created a way of life, and inspired spirituality. They also fueled Western expansion, the mountain man, the pioneers, then the buffalo hunter, East Coast high fashion a world away, and they became fodder for war. The wild beasts of numbers unimaginable, the throngs that delayed trains for hours, could not stop progress. The changing landscape and hunters of a different spirituality. 1872, the artist John Gast captured manifest destiny on one canvas. The East is a light, an angel in the sky leads trains, wagons, cattle, horses, and plows. The buffalo and Native Americans flee west into the shadow and off the canvas. Just ten years later, the bison were all but gone. A way of life erased, the prairie forever altered, the thunder silenced. Yet, as a tragedy played out, a new hope unfurled. At Yellowstone, a few dozen remained, a few captive animals survived. A new philosophy took root, and as the decades passed, the American bison became an icon, a national mammal, the majestic symbol for a new American model of wildlife conservation. A few dozen grew to a few thousand, then several thousand, and herds scattered from Alaska to Appalachia. They roam free again, to the extent possible, at Yellowstone, on the bison range, on the tall grass, among the Wichita's. Cultures reignited, ecology rediscovered. A drive to honor and make space for bison grows and continues. In Tulsa, a herd of a different kind grows forever in bronze. Forty woolly beasts, bulls, cows, yearlings, calves. Here, the Tulsa herd will withstand time for generations to remember the thunder, envision the majesty, embrace the history, learn the culture, and understand the value of and lasting hope for a uniquely American icon. Oh, what a wonder it would be to go back to that era of the bison, to be one human among the giants. Wow. Um.